Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite EDC wallets. And this is the third in the series of EDC gear videos that I've been doing over the past few months, just sharing some of the items that I've really enjoyed testing out. And wallets are something that I've collected a ton of over the years. I really love switching it up and seeing all the different wallet designs that companies are coming out with. And I actually did a whole video on some of my favorite travel wallets, so I'll make sure to include a link to that in the description below if you wanna check that out. But for the purposes of this video, I focused a little bit more on some of the more minimal options that are available for what you wanna carry with you on your day-to-day. -day. So all of these have been really interesting to use. I'm excited to walk through them with you guys. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. First on the list is the Ridge Wallet, which has quickly become one of the most popular minimalist wallet offerings that's come out recently. It has an incredible build quality. The one that I have here is made out of aluminum, but they also offered in titanium and carbon fiber. The aluminum version is the entry level price, and so it's held up very well. It feels super, super sturdy, and like it's gonna keep all of your cards very well protected. And it's just a very simple wallet. It's composed of two kind of metallic pieces and then a elastic band that helps you add in a bunch of cards and then you can also get the wallet with either a money clip or a cash strap i actually like the look of the money clip a little bit better but the wallet itself is super simple so it just has this little slot here that you can push up to get to all of your cards and then you just kind of have to fan them out to reach the one that you want so it's not the quickest system if you carry a lot of cards but it does keep things very simple you can just toss a bunch in and then it's nice that you do have a specific spot to just hold a few bills and so this is a really great front pocket wallet particularly because of the money clip i'm always a little bit hesitant to wear this on my back pocket and sit down as it's a little bit uncomfortable and i worry that this could kind of tear the pockets but if you're just looking for something super simple and durable, then this is gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. Up next is another really minimalist option from the Ridge. And I've always been very curious to try out one of these phone cases that also has some card holders as it seemed like a great way to simplify the number of items that I have to carry with me on a day to day. So this case card from the Ridge is made out of a very nice leather material and it just has two simple slots or as you can see, I've tossed in some cash and you can toss in a credit card or maybe your driver's license if you're trying to keep things really simple. And then the case itself just feels very well built and like it's gonna keep your phone very well protected. It's a little bit hard to get your phone in and out of the case as it's so rigid, but when you actually get it in on the back, it has this really soft material to help prevent scratching. And then the sides of the case also come up above the screen to help add that little bit of protection. It's really easy to press the buttons. And overall, it's just a nice case. It's offered in a few different colors. It's gonna wear in really nicely just due to the leather material used here. And as you can see, the case doesn't have the phone as I'm currently using it to record, but it's made for a few different sizes of phones. So if you have the larger iPhone or one of the older models, there is some flexibility in which case you can actually get. So just really simple option. I'm still kind of experimenting with this. I'm not quite ready to leave home without a full-fledged wallet, but for days when I wanna keep things a little bit simpler, I have definitely enjoyed testing this out. Next on the list is the Basics Wallet from Nomadic. And this is probably the one that I've used the most over the past couple of years. I just really love how simple and small this is. It just fits very well into pretty much any pocket that I have. And then I love the pull tab system that this has. It makes it very easy to access the cards that I normally need to get to the quickest. And then on the back, it also has an additional elastic pocket where you could toss in a few bills. So it really just kind of covers all the basics for what I would need out of a wallet. And it's held up really well, even though it's made out of just a pretty simple material. It still hasn't torn or anything like that. And as I mentioned, I've used this a lot. Probably one of the cons against this is that it's not the nicest looking wallet per se. So when you're wearing a nicer outfit, such as a suit, it can feel a little bit strange to pull something like this out. But besides that, it's really just been a phenomenal wallet. I love how easy it is to access everything. And it also comes in at a very reasonable price. So if you're just looking for a simple wallet to provide lots of quick access, then this is gonna be a tough option to beat. The next wallet on the list is the Bellroy card sleeve. And this is the one that has been the first to really take over for the Nomadic wallet as kind of my go-to. I really just love how stylish the leather looks on this and it's just super, super slim and minimal. So it really just has a very flat and simple profile, but it doesn't sacrifice in what I can actually hold in it. So 
The wallet itself has two external sleeves where I can put something like some cash and then maybe my ID if I wanna grab it a little bit more quickly. And then it also has this pull tab system where you can store a few more cards that you need to get to. And it's all just a very quick access package, but it still maintains a very slim silhouette and fits great whether I'm carrying this in my front or back pocket. So just a really stylish look overall, a great build quantity, and I've enjoyed using this so much that I actually bought one in black as well. Next up is a leather card holder from a company called Original Penguin, but there's really tons of companies that sell this style of wallet. It's very simple. I've used this a ton over the years, particularly for traveling, because it still manages to hold a ton of cards, even in just these two slots here on one side. And then on the other, it has more of an ID slot to make it very easy to just kind of whip out your wallet and show your identification and pull it out very quickly. And then I really like that it also has this large slot in the middle, which is great for holding currency of a variety of sizes. So this has been one of the best balances that I've found between kind of a traditional buy fold and a simpler minimalist wallet for being able to carry a ton of stuff while maintaining a small footprint. I actually featured a wallet like this from Herschel in the travel wallet video that I did a while back. And then I'll also include links to some of the other companies that offer this style of wallet if you wanna check those out. For times when I've needed to be a little bit less minimal with what I was carrying with me, I've also enjoyed testing out this bifold wallet from Popoff Leather, which we featured in a few videos in the past. And this has been really great to use. It has an awesome build quality. The leather just feels great. This definitely feels like something that's gonna develop a nice patina over the years. And it's a little bit larger than a lot of the other wallets that we've featured in this video, but it, that's because it actually has a full bifold area where you can store cash. So when you're traveling, if you prefer to have more cash with you as opposed to just having some cards, this is a great spot to be able to access it quickly. And I really like the design of this wallet. This first stood out to me just because I haven't seen too many with the pocket for the cash on the outside like this. So it just looked a little bit different than kind of the standard bifold wallet, but it just feels very high quality. It also has a few slots for cards on the inside. And in general, if you just need a little bit more space for what you wanna carry with you on your day to day, then something like this will definitely be great to check out. And then the last wallet on the list is the Wally Bifold from Distill Union. And I've been really impressed with this wallet overall. It seems to offer the best of all worlds. So it maintains a really slim profile, making it easy to fit into most pockets. And then it offers a lot of the features that we've seen on some of the other wallets featured in this video. So it has this pull tab system that makes it very easy to access your cards quickly. And then I really love the use of magnets all throughout the wallet. So once you push your cards back in, the straps of the wallet are actually magnetized to keep a very clean look. And then the magnets also keep the wallet closed so it's not flopping open when you don't want it to. And then you have these slots to hold cards on both sides of the wallet. They both have pull tabs so you're able to hold a ton of different cards. And then on the inside, you have a few additional slots. So you just have a lot of flexibility with where you can place everything to just kind of spread everything out. Or if you have to carry a little bit more stuff with you during the day. And then I really love the use of the money clip that they have here. It's very nice to be able to just carry some cash with you. And then it's easy to get your bills in and out. This isn't a money clip that you have to kind of open up and fumble with. So I really love the implementation here. And if you're looking for a wallet that can really just do it all while still maintaining a very slick look and offer a phenomenal build quality, then this is gonna be one of the most awesome options to check out. And so that's it. Those are some of my favorite EDC wallets. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you have any questions on the wallets featured in this video, or you have any suggestions for wallets that I should check out in the future, as always, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't had a chance to yet, make sure to check out the first two videos in this series where I talk about some of my favorite EDC pocket knives and key organizers. And I've also done in-depth videos in the past for kind of my long-term EDC that includes a few additional items such as what sort of pen and flash that I like to use. So if you're into that sort of thing, I'll make sure to include links to that as well. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you guys enjoyed this style of video or you found it helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.